As Russia and India draw closer strategically, Moscow has accelerated efforts to establish a Sukhoi Su-57 production plant in India. This initiative is linked to India's potential decision to acquire the fifth-generation stealth fighter in the near future. Discussions held on September 16th also covered advanced air defense systems, including the S-400 and S-500, while the Su-57 has emerged as a major point of focus. The Su-57, Russia's premier stealth multi-role fighter, features supercruise capability, advanced avionics, and a reduced radar cross-section, positioning it as a competitor to the American F-35. India and Russia already share deep defense cooperation, most prominently through the licensed production of the Su-30 MKI at HAL Nasik plant, where over 220 aircraft have been built. Russia has long trusted India with sensitive codes and integration rights, enabling Indian missiles like BrahMos to be mounted on the Su-30 MKI, an opportunity Western suppliers rarely allow. Although the joint fifth-generation fighter aircraft program was shelved in 2018 over cost and technology concerns, Western sanctions on Russia have revived Moscow's push to secure India as a key partner. For India, the timing is critical. The Indian Air Force operates only 30 squadrons against a sanctioned strength of 42, with the aging MiG-21 fleet retiring by September 26, deepening the shortfall. Meanwhile, India is negotiating with Dassault for 114 Rafale fighters, but disagreements over cost and restrictions on source code access have slowed progress. Russia, sensing the opportunity, is offering the Su-57 with unprecedented benefits under India's Make in India and At Minerva Bard initiatives. Russia's multi-layered proposal Local production in India, Russia proposes joint manufacturing of the Su-57E export variant at HAL Nasik, leveraging the existing Su-30 MKI production line. If approved, production could begin by 2025 to 26, with 40 to 60% localization, ramping up to 20 aircraft annually by 2028, enough for two to three squadrons initially. Unlike Western deals, Russia offers complete source code access and TOT. This would allow integration of Indian systems such as the Astra BVR missile, Rudram anti-radiation missile, Virupaksh ASA radar, and future gen-based radar upgrades. India would maintain sovereignty over upgrades, avoiding sanction-linked disruptions. The package includes the Su-57E with potential integration of the next-generation AL-51 engine, expected by late 2025, promising greater stealth and supercruise performance. To bridge the gap before Su-57 induction, Russia has also offered Su-35EM stopgap fighters, a proposal for 40 to 60 Su-35EM aircraft priced at 65 to $80 million each, far cheaper than the Rafale at $120 million. With 70 to 80% commonality with the Su-30 MKI, the Su-35 ensures smooth induction. Strategic and Geopolitical Context The Su-57 gained prominence during Aero India 2025, drawing significant attention and again at India today's conclave in June, where Russia's ambassador Denis Alipov emphasized co-production opportunities. Rostec has confirmed a potential 20SU57 per year by 2028, bundled with our 37M hypersonic long-range missiles optimized for high-altitude Himalayan warfare. The deal's advantages for India include cost-effectiveness, Benchmarked at $2 billion for 14 jets, based on Algeria's Su-57 deal. 
sanction-proof maintenance, and reliable supply chains. Greater indigenous capability through source code access. Strategic parity against China's J-20 and Pakistan's J-10C. Recent exercises like Sindhor, May 2025, underscored the SU-30 MKI strike role, capabilities that the SU-57 could dramatically enhance. Yet challenges remain. Doubts over the SU-57 stealth performance compared to the F-35. Budget constraints as India juggles raffle procurement, Tejas MK-2 and MK-3 delays, and the indigenous AMCA stealth fighter program. Risk of U.S. sanctions, as seen with the S-400 deal. With President Putin's upcoming visit to India, the Su-57 is expected to dominate the defense agenda. Russia is in a hurry to finalize agreements, before U.S. and European competitors can strengthen their bids. For India, the choice is between waiting for domestic projects to mature or securing immediate fifth-generation capability through Russian collaboration. The Su-57 offer combines local production, full technology transfer, advanced weapons, and future-proof engines, a package unmatched by Western rivals. But whether New Delhi moves forward depends on balancing cost, geopolitics, and long-term strategy. So the question remains, should India take the leap with the Su-57 or wait for alternatives? Share your thoughts in the comments section.